About two weeks ago, we booked some pretty impromptu flights to Amsterdam. It was Achille's birthday coming up and he had a companion voucher which was due to expire with British Airways. So I managed to find return flights there and back for £30 for two of us to get to Amsterdam from London Gatwick. The plan was to completely chill out, relax and toast to our last trip together as fiancés. Wow, so we just set off, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> it's too early in the morning to speak proper English. We just set off, aren't we? Oh my gosh. It's, it's two you hours. Are too funny. It's two hours now to the airport. <laughs> and it's half two in the morning. It's 2 30 a.m. It was quite a long drive for Atch, and there was one point where I started to fall asleep in the car. And then he was like, I really need you awake. I really. Yeah. Must have been hard. Just really sleepy. And if you'd have fallen asleep, I'd have been like, oh, I just want to fall asleep, and then I would have fallen asleep. <laughs> We're going to go through security, and then I got that morning hunger feeling where you get hungry at like 5 a.m., even though you wouldn't usually eat at this time. I'm just like, my stomach's like, give me food. I just went to Chanel to try and buy the tinted thing that looks beautiful on my skin in the summer, <laughs> if I'm allowed to say that. And they sold out, so absolutely devastated. No airport. Airport discount prices for me today. Where to, Arch? You want a coffee? Do you want a bit of food? Yeah, I want to. Oh my God, we should go to. Um, you ever tried the Wagamama's breakfast? Yeah, I have actually. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Just watch that clip back, and I'm dying because I've, I've got both socks. So mine didn't move. Is <laughs> it? This whole time, every time I come to an airport and come to Wagamama's, I thought they stylistically chose to use these knives. And then that's just like, well, no, it's because no one can then take those knives onto a plane and do any damage because they're so weak. It's touched down, isn't it? Touchdown in Amsterdam. Look how shaky the camera is. I know, there's not much you can do about that. Sorry about that. Sorry guys, I think it has got a bit of audio stabilisation. I've had, feels like a long day so far, doesn't it? I know, I mean, Left the house not a lot of sleep. Half two in the morning. It's quarter past 10 now, local time in Amsterdam. And we had a bit of a delay. Yeah. Because they were like, oh, they, we can't set off straight away because of the air uh, traffic. We just watched an episode of Breaking Bad and then went to sleep for a little bit on the plane. Yeah. And that was it. Wow, what a taxi journey that was. Jeez, honestly, I wish you'd have videoed it. I couldn't, I just couldn't video honestly, it. He made rally drivers look like Sunday drivers. Yeah, like you know really I mean? calm. Like just, he just looked, he, honestly, he was like bang, like literally cutting up people. Like I actually got a headache. At the end. I, I, I know. I'm, like, I'm, I'm done. We're in Amsterdam. There's a load of cyclists, cyclists everywhere. And there's these cyclists going next to us. He nearly hit them and like knocked them off their bike. And then they got in an argument, naturally. And then he's opening the door for us to get out of the taxi. And I was like, I'm not associated with this taxi driver. It felt so bad. And then he got our stuff out of the car and kind of looked at us as if to say like, where's my tip? Yeah, and, and we I was were just like, like, you mate. nearly killed someone. It was the worst driver of our life. And but anyway, we're here. Sun's not shining, but we've arrived at our hotel. We're gonna go inside now. Okay, so our hotel room's not ready for a little while. So we've just come out, had a little bit of lunch. Oh my God, that's so cute. This is cute, but I'm also jealous of this. This looks... Oh, your eggs are smoking hot. <laughs> it's not my plate, not so plate. like... I can, these are poached eggs, so <laughs> the yolk can go everywhere. Hopefully people now understand what that is. Understand your thing. If you've seen the Scotland video and you understand that. Like, it's still really difficult. Just do it, actually. Oh, oh my God, I've lost control. <laughs> I've absolutely lost control. There's no yolk on the plate. There is yolk on the plate. <laughs> I can't wait to get back to the hotel, unpack a little bit, put some makeup on, feel less like I'm not alive. We're just having a little mooch around now, so I should probably watch out because I'm in the middle of the road. All right, we're outside Anne Frank, Anne Frank's house. Did you ever read the diary of Anne Frank? No, but is it actually our house though? It just looks very like not- Oh, there's the photo. Let's go and have a look at Oh, okay, let's look at the photo. Okay. Wow, I love like this history. 
Yeah, you love it. That's why I really try to get tickets. But all the tickets sell out so quickly and they get released like six weeks before. So unless you're super organized, you you will struggle to get a ticket here. And we booked this um, trip like two weeks ago, so they'd all gone. Because Atch was like, should we just get in the queue? But it doesn't work like that, no, it's all online. Say, I didn't even say that. I went, should we just walk in and see if we can get a ticket on the off chance? And then Lee was like, look at the queue of the people that have actually got tickets as well. Yeah, plus I did all the reading beforehand and I found out everything like to do with the tickets. You can't just like pay on the door. There's no such thing, it's all online. And they release all of the, like 90% of the tickets get released six weeks before the date that you're trying to go there. And then, um, another 10 percent of the tickets get released on the morning of so we can try tomorrow um and see if there's any last minute tickets but nothing for today anyway, should we carry on walking yes i'm waiting for that text from the hotel to say it's ready me too She's just exhausted, isn't she? Um, this is the worst I've ever looked and felt, but thank you for. I, th I think we're gonna love. we're gonna head back to that hotel Let's now, aren't go. we? It's, the room's got to be ready now. Oh yeah, <laughs> this is nice. Really cool. <laughs> this is really cool. Awesome. It looks really good. Should this we, is definitely um, one of the coolest ones I've been in. Should we show them some of the details around the room? Yeah, let's. I booked a tiny room just because we're here for two nights so um, we want to be mostly out and about and exploring but this is this is cool this is the bathroom oh i don't i don't want to walk in here with my outside shoes on i'm one of those tap all the tiles on really really nice shower look at the tiles it's really cool i love the colors. floor to ceiling there's orange tiles with the same tile here if i chose an orange tile in one of our properties yeah would you just be like no but in here, yeah, it, but works. In here it works right Okay, this is a fake door here. There's nothing here. So this just... used to be a bank. So I think like in here is all like where the offices maybe used to be and stuff. Yeah, we have a wardrobe here with some drawers underneath. Um, Flip flops, very nice. Some robes and our jackets. And then this is our bedroom. This is actually, it looks small, but it's actually a king size bed, I believe. And then we've got the nice view of the of the canal, which on a sunny day would look so beautiful. It still looks very nice. A uh, little person there on his boat. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, look at these tiles cool. here. You're obsessed. And then look at this cool mini bar here as well. Very nice. First time visiting Soho House Amsterdam and I'm very impressed. Very synergistic. Treats. Can I just say something? Yeah. I love this. Yeah, you do. It reminds me of a poker table. It's just like... It reminds me of the bank. I think it's, it's a nod to the bank. Yeah, it's a really cool, like, leather. And then with the wood. Mm -hmm. It's so nice. And then you've got, like, these really cool lamps in the corners. Mm. Cool lamps. And then you've got this piece of artwork here that seems to be some form of, like... A heart. China, but it's a heart. Some heart sort of, made of pottery, China. but it's a heart. And then this will help us film our video tomorrow, won't it? Yes. Because tomorrow we're doing Streets of Amsterdam video. Gosh, that's gonna be so good. Nice. And then here we have Very this nice like mirror. cool mirror that has this like staining on it. It's hard to see actually in the camera. Yeah, it is cool though. That looks way better than just a normal mirror when it's yeah. like a little bit aged, aged yeah. look. Nice. Very nice. Very, very nice. Impressive. Time to chill out, I think now. Yeah, I think chill. Our YouTube video is going live in 20 minutes, so I just wanna take my socks off. <laughs> Boom. Boom. Uh, this sound reminds me of like living in Chichester when like you used to do premieres, premieres on your channel and I would be like, what's that sound? It's really like... Yeah, it's the countdown. Yeah, I'm like, it's really like um, addictive. Like I wanted to keep... So addictive. I'm feeling quite tired, but I'm going to reply to the comments as they come in. Then I'm gonna spruce up and then we're gonna go out for dinner and to watch some comedy, so. <laughs> okay gang, feeling about a million times better. The video's out, had a shower, 
not the hair, just a body shower. And now we're gonna head down, we're actually gonna get some dinner here, and then we're heading to Boom Chicago, which is a improv comedy theatre over here. And I know somebody who's in a show tonight, um, who I used to improvise with back in London, like a million years ago. So yeah, that's the plan. Okay, follow me. Following you. I'm just it's never. It's a clean as a fridge. That head's in my, that, that song's in my head, you know, out there. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I know the one that's like, I know so the one that's so like so fresh and so clean, but I don't know about so clean so and so fresh. Is it so fresh and so clean? Yeah, so Are you I, sure? you've been saying it the wrong way around. I thought it was so clean and so fresh. No. Right, we're finally here. Yeah. I mean, it's Lit. hard to show you it. Yeah. Well, Lee's been banging on about this place for uh, I've just been a long saying, time like, now. So we go and see it. No, I'm buzzing. I'm this, genuinely buzzing. This show is called Sunday Night Live, so a bit of a play on words with the whole like Saturday Night Live thing that you get in the US. A very like well-respected improv theatre in Amsterdam, and the show's in English, so I'm really looking forward to it. Nice. And I don't I've, know if we can film inside. I've never been to improv. Yeah. Like I've never seen something like this. Yeah, I'm, you're I'm gonna excited. Love it. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. Front row seat. Front row. Had to be done. Had to be done. I've got him front row. I was like, don't worry, they're not gonna like pick on you. It's improv. I'd be surprised. But we'll see. All right, we just left. Did you like it? Yeah, it was awesome. It was, <laughs> it was so, really it was good so fun. cool. And at the end, I was like. Are you sure they they didn't know what they were going to say before? Yeah, no, it was all improvised, yeah, no, all made up. Nuts. They were really good. You could, really? and like half the cast were like American. There was a, one Brit, and then I'm not sure where the other <laughs> guys were from. <laughs> it was all good. Cut that. Yeah, cut that. Or we just roll with it. Or we just roll with it. Or we're just like, okay, I've never had anyone jump in the vlog like that before. Jeez. I've never actually experienced that. We've just Which went is to an improv show, so we should have just improvised. We should have just improvised it. I should have been like, let me. <laughs> I should have yessed oh, his idea. Yes. And then his friend was like, his friend was like, sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I was like, geez. don't worry. I don't have a clue You're what like, he's saying. Don't worry, I live with that. Also, <laughs> don't worry, I live with this clown. And also, um, even if he like swore at us, we wouldn't know what he said. No, because I don't speak Dutch. No. <laughs> Right, we just watched the film Empire of Light. Olivia Coleman, amazing. She was stunning, wasn't she, Arch? She's a powerhouse. And um, we've come out to the room and they've closed the curtains and like put water by the bed, done their little turn down service. Um, gonna say good night and I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Hi everyone, it's Leah in the future here. Just wanted to say we decided to split up the Amsterdam footage into two vlogs. So that's everything of arriving in Amsterdam, checking into our hotel and going out that night. And then the smallest house in Europe video is actually gonna be in another vlog entirely. Um, it just made more sense to do it that way. So let us know if you enjoyed this travel vlog. We would love to post more lifestyle videos. Uh, we have just been focusing on more property stuff uh, recently. So do let us know if you enjoyed it and we'll make sure to do more of it. And we'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much if you're new around here. We noticed a couple of new people since we posted the squatter videos. So uh, thanks so much for joining and we'll see you very soon. Bye.